Hi, welcome to In Focus. I'm your host, Chris Dane. Today we'll be taking a look at Zach Alexander, a 21-year-old who has been captivating audiences with his one-of-a-kind singing performances for years. But he doesn't sing the hits of today. Zach is actually a famous jazz performer. His repertoire includes icons such as Nat King Cole and Dean Martin. However, he's most known for his Frank Sinatra impersonation, bringing the same charm Frank did back in the 40s and 50s. I prefer to be called a Frank Sinatra tribute singer. I would even go as far to say that I'm not a Frank Sinatra tribute singer, but more along the lines of just a jazz singer, because I like Dean Martin, Nat King Cole, Tony Bennett, Bobby Darin, to name a few that are great, great jazz singers that I love to pieces and try my best to pay tribute to all of them. Hoboken Sinatra Idol is a competition that is put on once a year around June in Hoboken where Frank Sinatra was born and raised. I was fortunate enough to be accepted into the competition and I sang I've Got You Under My Skin, one of my favorite Sinatra tunes, um, and I happened to win the competition with a perfect score and I'm very proud of that and it's one of my greatest achievements to win Hoboken Idol because now not only do I call myself a jazz singer but I actually have a physical award that I can say is credible and legitimizes what I do. Ladies and gentlemen, the new chairman of the board, Zach Alexander. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words. And do adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, in other words, I, I love you. Wow, that was an amazing performance. Now let's see how jazz became such an influence on Zach's life. I'm from Red Bank, New Jersey. The great big band leader, Count Basie, is from Red Bank, so a lot of the culture around Red Bank is jazz oriented. My grandmother had a very heavy influence on me listening to music. The first time I ever heard Frank Sinatra was from her. She had a record and played it for me when I was about seven or eight. I really got involved in doing the research and finding older music and that's really what got me hooked. It was all of these older movies that really made me look into it further and really try to find exactly what I like and eventually I came across Frank Sinatra and just that exciting time in history is what really made me connected and made it more real, the music, and why I felt more passionate about it because it was such an interesting story. And that's really what singing jazz is all about, storytelling. So when, when you sing jazz, you're really trying to evoke this story of emotion, whether it's a tale of woe or a tale of happiness. 
So jazz and big band swing have really played a lot in your life. But what do you think of the music of today? Being part of you know, the group known as Millennials, we have a very different take on music. So what is your opinion on that? Well, my opinion of it is that music of today, I appreciate. It's nice music if that's the mood you're looking for, that's the genre you're into. Now, the message, however, I feel is much different than what it once was. I appreciate love songs with beautiful lyrics, real, real talent that goes into the creation of love music, and I'm not really a big fan of the immoral message that, you know, modern music creates. All right, well, thank you so much, Zach Alexander, for joining us today, and thank you for tuning in on this week's edition of In Focus.